Hal Crosley here, coming to you from southeastern Connecticut. Today we'll be doing a little mountain building on my family room loop layout in HO. You can see that as mountains go, this one won't be very big, and in today's world, a prototype road would likely blast that bad boy out of the way and make a cut. But as modelers, we prefer inventing obstacles to circumventing them. We'll be using Woodland Scenics brand plaster cloth for our terrain, which, while not especially cheap, is quite easy to use and less messy than some other methods. Other videos, certainly, cover the same ground, so to speak, but perhaps a wrinkle or two here will help you with your efforts. We've created a basic terrain shape with plywood profile boards and baseball-sized wads of paper held in place with masking tape. Not everyone uses the tape, but here I wanted its smoothing effect on the paper wads. As an aside, I've modeled the tunnel walls, going about a foot into the bore, a real foot, not a scale foot, to mitigate the toy-like look of trains going through big hollow lumps of scenery. Your choice, of course. Okay, we've called the dispatcher and gotten some file time on the main line, so let's start. Because the tunnel portal, also a Woodland Scenics product, has already been painted, we'll cover it in foil, along with a track, to avoid messing things up with plaster drips. Cardboard slipped behind my plywood profile protects the walls. Plaster cloth, which is somehow reminiscent of an old player piano roll, may be cut to any size, dipped in water for a few seconds, and placed on the terrain. It's cut, dip, and drape. Cut, dip, and drape. Later on, you can fine-tune your terrain and fill any gaps, such as right around the tunnel portal, with modeling plaster. The plaster coating on the cloth is not uniform, and some folks like to use their fingers to spread it around more evenly for a smoother covering. I'm ignoring this step at my peril, and hoping to fill in the small holes when I paint the mountain. Woodland Scenics does advise overlapping the sheets to create a stronger shell, and that will help too. So that's it. Lots more mountain to do, of course, but you get the idea. Time to clear up, give the dispatcher back his track, and get those reefers of California produce moving across the country. Thanks for taking a look.